Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and today I am back with a brand new video. This one is all about Silent Hills and it has me incredibly excited. But before I jump into the video, let me just give a disclaimer that everything I'm talking about here, completely rumors, alright? All of it's rumors. So even though these rumors are coming from reliable sources and all that kind of stuff, none of this is set in stone, anything could change. So please keep that in mind while you're watching this video. So with that said, let's just jump right in. So this all begins with some tweets from a Twitter user who goes by the name of Aesthetic Gamer. Now you may remember this guy if you've been keeping you know tabs on the Resident Evil 8 leaks that have been going on with the werewolves and all that kind of stuff. He's behind some of those leaks and he does have a proven track record when it comes to Resident Evil at least. So now he's dropping some information about Silent Hills. So he claims that Konami, who are the company who own the rights to Silent Hills, you know, they own Metal Gear Solid, all these other kind of IPs, they've been reaching out a couple of years ago to other developers. They want them to start working on new Silent Hill games, too, to be precise. They want a soft reboot and they want another game to go alongside the soft reboot. And this game will be more like a, an Until Dawn or a Telltale game where you're making decisions and those decisions affect the outcome of the story, one of those. So we can assume that the reboots or the soft reboots will be more like the original games. Now just in case you're wondering what exactly a soft reboot is, I would say the best example is probably 2018's God of War. If you've played that, it completely changed how the game was played, it feels completely fresh, completely new, but at the same time, the events of the first three games or the first four or five games, whatever it was, they're all still canon, that didn't change. So in a way, God of War's gameplay got a soft reboot, if you know what I mean. So we don't know what form a soft reboot would take with a new Silent Hill game. It could be that it'll be all first person now and all that. That might constitute a soft reboot in this case. We'll just have to wait and see. So meanwhile, while Aesthetic Gamer has been tweeting this, if you take a look at Hideo Kojima's Twitter, he not so long ago tweeted that his next game, or at least he heavily implied that his next game was going to have something to do with horror based on this tweet. We also have the creature designer for the first three Silent Hill games, and he's over on Twitter saying that he's working on a new project that he hopes doesn't get cancelled. Now, there is also a website called Rely on Horror. They cover all kind of horror things and they claim that they have their own separate source and that these sources are backing up what Aesthetic Gamer is saying. So later, in response to these claims, Konami themselves issued a statement which said the following. We cannot share anything at this point, but we are listening to customer feedback and considering ways to provide the next title, said a spokesman. So. That's basically confirmation that Konami are saying, yeah, we're looking into Silent Hills. We've got nothing to announce yet, but it is in the pipeline. So, you know, keep an eye out on it. So now more recently, that same website again, rely on horror. They've come forward. They've said their insider has given them even more information. And this inside information is claiming that Sony are the driving force behind these two new Silent Hill games. So according to this guy, Sony are putting Hideo Kojima at a table. They're putting Konami at a table. They're trying to smooth out those relations. Of course, famously, Konami, Kojima had a huge fallout back in 2015. So it looks like Sony are coming along. They're trying to smooth that out so that Kojima can get back into Silent Hill. So this insider claims that the story-driven decision-based game is the one that maybe Kojima will be getting and that this one would be a revival of Silent Hills, which of course is the game that we were all looking forward to back in 2015. Got cancelled, broke my heart. I don't know about E, but that was like, I was super hyped about that game. So absolutely disgusted when it got cancelled. So you can you can imagine, I'm really, really hyped about this. I'm hoping it comes true. Of course, keep in mind that Sony are the driving force behind this. So there's a good chance that these titles will be PS5 exclusives. Not confirmed, of course. Maybe they'll come to Xbox, maybe they'll come to PC, but at least guaranteed PS5 with Sony pushing. So the website Rely on Horror states the following. Our first source, who we've come to trust well, indicates to Kichiro Toyama, who is the director and writer of the original 1999 Silent Hill, and Akira Yamaoka, composer for the majority of the franchise, are also returning alongside Masahiro Ito. Now he is the creature designer that I mentioned earlier on. The trio will helm a soft reboot of the Silent Hill series, possibly just called Silent Hill. Sony Interactive Entertainment Japan Studio 
which possibly includes team members from Project Siren, the group behind Siren Blood Curse for the PS3, also a good game, will be behind its development in some capacity, either in full or in part. Our sources state that this title has been in the works for about a year. The second Silent Hill title referenced in previous rumours is still being worked out at the moment, but it's looking as if it very well could be Silent Hills, Hideo Kojima's famously cancelled title. According to our first source, Sony is working to patch up the relationship between Kojima Productions and Konami in order to resurrect the game due to the amount of buzz and continued demand for it five years after its cancellation. Our second source shared this same information with us in the past. We can now report on it with some confidence in its legitimacy. Now this next part, you're going to want to keep your ears wide open. This is the one that's going to you know, get, you, get, you, get your nips hard, get you moist, get you dripping, whatever. Get the sponges ready, all right? Source number one goes on to say that the game will even make use of the next generation PlayStation Virtual Reality headset for PlayStation 5. Allegedly, Sony has pitched the game to Kojima as a title more akin to a Telltale slash Supermassive and Supermassive are the guys who met Until Dawn narrative driven title, which would offer him full creative freedom. Our source does emphasize, however, that Silent Hills is not yet a done deal and that for now the only game in active development is the reboot from SIE Japan Studio. While Sony is pushing for the series comeback, our sources do not say that they're out to own the Silent Hill IP. Sony and Konami are working together on these titles. So, according to these rumors, Sony are working together with Konami to guess a Silent Hill title up and running on a PlayStation VR headset and might not be the one that we're using right now. It's probably going to be the next gen PS VR headset. Well, I assume it won't be compatible with what we have now. But anyway, that to me is just the hypest shit ever. The hypest thing you can imagine is Silent Hills on a next gen PlayStation virtual reality headset. Now, reading this, it's not very clear to me which two titles is going to be the one that's going to PlayStation Virtual Reality. Uh, maybe you guys can read it better than I can and, and can figure that out. But to me, I, it seems to, like it could be either or, or maybe both. Uh, but anyway, as a huge PSVR fan, as a huge Silent Hill fan, Silent Hill 2, one of my favorite games of all time. And of course, I'm a huge Hideo Kojima fan as well. Love the Metal Gear Solid franchise. I will take whatever I can get out of this mix that's going on here. I mean, the thoughts of Kojima making peace with Konami, Konami letting Kojima work on Silent Hills and making a PlayStation VR title possibly is just nuts to me. Nuts. Anyway, enough about what I think. What do you think? Is this a title that will like, are you feeling what I'm feeling right now? Are you hype as hell right now? Is this a title that'll make you go out and buy a PS VR day one immediately? Or is this something that you'd be like, whoa, that's way too scary. I couldn't even do Resident Evil 7. There's no way I'm doing a Kojima made Silent Hills title. Let me know all that stuff in the comments below. Before I end this video though, let me give a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters whose names are on screen right now. Thanks to their help, I'm able to devote more time to this channel. And also, let me give a big shout out to the following. Tradition, Pete Hawkins, Columbus Thomas III, and Crum. Thanks to their support on the top tier of Patreon. You know, they're just helping this channel out so much, and I appreciate that loads. Thank you very much, lads. If you'd also like to help out in the Patreon, the link will be in the description below. But you don't have to do that, of course. If you'd like to help me out the old-fashioned way, you can do that by just liking, sharing, all that usual shite. That'll be a huge help, but I appreciate that too. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.